<clears throat> shalom, shalom. All praises and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakadash, Shalom, Lavakarium, Shaw, Yasharala, Baba Gasha, Baba Gasha, Baba Gasha, Nathan La Yakaha, Katsayom, Shaw, Dabada, Baba Gasha, Baba Gasha, Baba Gasha, Lamam Shem Kocha Yanaya, Lamam Shem Kocha Yanaya, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, the Wad Abi Yahweh, the Wad Abi Yahweh Shai, the Wad Abi Yahweh, the Wad Abi Yahweh Shai, the Wad Abi Yahweh, the Wad Abi Yahweh Shai, Shema Yasharala, Yahweh, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh, Akhut. Shema Yasharala, Yahawa Alahayanawa, Yahawa Akhud, Shema Yasharala, Yahawa Alahayanawa, Yahawa Akhud. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who were well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect out there and to the elect lady. This is only for the house of mourning. This is only for the house of faith. The true believers that believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. <clears throat> Bear with me. You know, I'm a little tired. I'm a little exhausted. Really didn't get no sleep last night. Y'all yeah, know how that goes. When you don't get no sleep, the next morning you feel your body is weak, exhausted, man. <sighs> so... And this is more reason why I'm making this lesson because we're crying, man. We're crying to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. We're complaining to him, man, you know, in a fearful way because we have sinned against our Father. We have transgressed against our Father in our past lives and every captivity we have sinned. Even in this captivity, man, the revised Roman Empire. We have transgressed against every father now. He has punished us. We've been downtrodden. we down at the bottom, you know. We're just vexed in the spirit. Our body is weary. We're destroyed. And we need deliverance. We need healing. And we need the heavenly fighter to pardon us and forgive us and to have mercy on us, man. We need because we're crying, man. Our soul, our spirit is crying unto the Lord. You know, when you think of, you know, the atrocities that Esau has done to our people, when you think about what we have done against the Lord, when we understand why we in this captivity, when we understand now that we sinned against the Heavenly Father, so now is our time to get it right, to get it right this time with the Lord. You know, we're spirits coming back over and over in a reincarnation. And now we're at the end of this last captivity. And we're getting it right this time. This time, we understand fully that we sin against the Heavenly Father. And this is why we're in this situation we're in. So now we need mercy for the Heavenly Father to have mercy on us. So He can heal us and deliver us from this hell hole this poop hole, this hell hole of a place Babylon a great man and to deliver us from this devil man, this evil man, the wicked Esau, Edom to pardon us and break the yokes of chains, this body and these physical chains, many spiritual chains, you know, and only the Heavenly Father can do that, man. He can only do that. And this is why our spirit crying unto the Lord. And let's get that let's get that first scripture through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. Alright. We understand that Job represents the elect. And Job was punished by the Heavenly Father. Job was in a low, low, low state. Job was cursed and, and, and stricken by the Heavenly Father, man. His sickness, his family. We all know the story of Job. But what did Job do? Job complained in his spirit. Job complained. He cried unto the Lord, man. 
All right, Job 10 and 1. My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul, man. So go into this word, complain. Let's go to it through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. All right. Strong's H, 7879, Siach, Siach. And it says meditation, complaint, musing, following our dubious anxiety, trouble. And we understand that he was in trouble. He was full of sorrows. He was full of trouble, right? But down here, let's go into this word right here. Babylon, see that? Babylon, all right? This strong definition, Babylon. See, when we complain to the spirit, we complain in the spirit to the Heavenly Father, we're actually babbling in sorrow, man. We're crying in our prayers, we're meditating, we're home, you know, within our closed privacy doors and we're praying to the Lord, all right? We've been given the eyes to see that, yeah, this place is going down, and the Heavenly Father is coming back through His Son to save His bride, and we want to be part of that. We want to be saved. But it comes with the crying, the utterance, all right? The babbling, the complaint, just like that bitter, the bitterness of what Joel went through. So we all have our own uh, uh, lot that we have to fulfill. We have our own troubles. We have our own trials. We have our own vexation of spirit. We have our own bitterness. We have to go through all these things, you know. But the Lord did deliver Job. The Lord did have mercy. But we complain in the spirit of Babylon, man. Now, I want to get that right quick. This is Proverbs 23 and 29. Who have woe? And there's a question being asked. Solomon is going into that. Who have woe? Who have trouble? All right? And we know that one of the words of, of, of complaining is what? Trouble. Anxiety. We've been through that. We know what it is to go through it. You know, being vexed by family members, by your loved ones, your wife, your husband, your job. It's things we go through, man. You know, we all go through the spiritual battle, but it's trouble. That's why uh, Proverbs 23 and 29, Solomon said, Who have woe, who have sorrow, who have contentions, who have babbling. You see that? Who have wounds without cause. Who have redness of eyes, man. Y'all know how that is, man. You've seen it before. Someone cries to the soul, to the bit of their soul. When, when a loved one dies, someone dear to you, man, you cry, cry, cry until your eyes turn red, man. Who have redness of eyes? See that? They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine as it goes. All right? So that's that trouble. That's that complaint. And we all complaining in the spirit, man. You know, even our King David, let's read that, Psalms 138 and 1. I will praise thee with my whole heart before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Verse 3. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthens me with strength in my soul. See, when the day that I cried, so we all complaining. In the same way, Yahabashim Yahushai answered to King David, delivered and answered Job from complaining. From the bitterness of our soul being being waxed uh, of trouble here, being trial, being being going through these tribulations, he's gonna answer us. 
He's going to answer us. You better believe it. Because even the prophecy of John, right? What did he do? What did the scriptures say he did? Let's read it. Come for ye, come for ye, my people, say your power. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her. See? Cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she have received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins, man. See, the Heavenly Father punished us for our sins that we did, that we committed against our Heavenly Father. All right? But we're at the end of our warfare. We're at the end of our punishment. We're at the end of our captivity, brothers. And we understand that this devil is going to come down with that great wrath. But we're going to do what? We're going to pray and cry to the Lord. He will deliver. He will answer us because he has to honor his word, man. Verse 3, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert highway for our power. And that was John. It was fulfilled through John. He was the one that made way. He opened the way. He ushered and heralded the way for our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right? He was crying when he was preaching the the, the entering and ushering of Yahweh Shai coming into this world, he preached that gospel. Peter and Andrew were followers of John the Baptist before they became disciples of Yahweh Shai. All right, because he was crying, his spirit was uttering, you know, to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, opening the way for the prophets, that highway. You know what I'm saying? That's in the scriptures, man. And you can't see, man. You know, and that's what we're doing right now. That highway, it's um the, out there in the byways. What are we doing out there? That is the altar. Um, uh, Isaiah 19 speaks about. Baruch 4 and 21. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies, man. So... The Heavenly Father is not a man that he shall lie, all right? He will, he will deliver us, those that are sincere, all right? He will deliver us, man. Numbers 23 and 19, God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? See? So the Heavenly Father will deliver, man, based on these scriptures, based on these prophecies. You know? But like Job complained, so are we, man. So are we. Now we're spiritually troubled. Once again, we're troubled by family members, loved ones. You know, part of our lot is... Uh, the tribulation we go through, the things that we've done wicked in front of the eyes of the Lord. But if we continue to cry in sincerity to the Lord and do the right thing in front of his eyes, you know, the Lord will deliver us. He will hear our cries. Matter of fact, let's go to Revelation. What's that? Uh, man, let me see. I, I think it will be eight or five. All right, and the fourth, everyone, which, oh, here we go. This is Revelation 5 and 8. And when he had taken the book, the fourth beast and 24 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of their harps and golden vows full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals up, for thou was slain and had redeemed us to our power, Yahweh, by the blood of every cringed tongue, people, and nation. And had made us unto our power, Yahweh, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. See that? And um, in the prayers of the saints, man. You know, that's the prayers of the saints right there. Okay, um... And that's the point through the Spirit. How about Shem Yashai? This was going to be a quick one through the Spirit, you know. Um, you know, the Lord's listening. And he's listening. 
he's um he's gonna answer us, you know, especially now. We're getting close and close to um to uh Jacob's trouble, the Karagma. This man is coming down with great wrath. You know, he's going um he's going into uh the devil is about to come out with another deception and you know, now he's sh shooting out more Beetlejuice for the people. He's going to threaten our livelihoods again because he's threatened, you know? So, hey, may the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh have mercy on us through the spirit, brothers, and that, you know, the Lord will have mercy, man. This is what we need. We need mercy, man. You know, the Lord will deliver. We are crying out to him. We do need deliverance. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh will do that. He's not a man that he shall lie. You know, continue to cry unto the Lord. Continue to pray. Don't give up. This thing is spiritual. It's a spiritual battle. You know, the demons going to attack you. They're going to continue, uh, uh, you know, make you feel to doubt, make you feel to get weary, to, to give up. But there's no need to fight, 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 fight. Pray, pray, pray. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Because eventually the Lord has to fulfill his, his word. The Lord has to fulfill his, his, his bargain, you know, his end of the deal, which is to save us, man. You know, when all hell break loose from our enemies, man, to, to bestow upon those men spiritual powers to give us a way to get out of this, man. He's always done it. The Heavenly Father has taken care of us to this day. We're still alive. You wake up, you're alive, you're breathing, you know. You see another day, you're able to see another day. You know, you're able to eat. You're able to provide, he's been able to provide you, you know. Uh, you have your bread, your daily, your, your clothing. You have your little jobs, whatever it may be, whatever you have. Be content with it. You know, this devil's coming with great wrath. He's going to threaten your jobs again with this boost of beetle juice and all this, man. But guess what, man? The Lord never lets you down. He, he's, man, remember, he controls that devil. So we have nothing to worry about. We just got to continue doing our part as well, praising him, reverencing him, continue to be right by him, being sincere, you know, try to be far as a, don't be a hypocrite. You know, pray, 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 meditate. You know, repent daily. Examine yourself. You know, try to be right in front of him. Try to be right, you know. We, I mean, it's not easy being spiritual. You know, but it's very easy to be carnal. That's why the reward is more special. You know, but Yahweh Yahshua will deliver us. He's not a man that he should lie, man. Call on Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, Yahweh Tazah, Yahweh Tazah. He was edified in the spirit. Once again, double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Uruel, Shalom, Le Bukarim, Shal Yasharala, Le Manshim Kacha, Yanaya, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, Abanawa, Yahweh Halawah, All praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Shalom.